Alright, if you want to find out if this DX06 from Timu is any good, stick around. Alright, be sure to uh, like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. Alright, today we're going to be looking at this DX06. It's a lapel mic from Timu. Uh, it's kind of a no-name. Uh, just got it in. Uh, really don't see any other distinguishing markings on the uh, box uh, so we're going to take a look at this and see if it's any good see if it's worth your time uh, looked at these which I did a video on them and these right here are like dead on arrival everything comes on it looks like they're working it's just there's no connection or transmission if I figure them out I'll finish that video and we can look at these as well which they are no names as well if you find this content interesting or if it's something that you you enjoy, I would appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. Uh, if you stick around to the end of this video, you'll see uh, links and details to um, other lapel mic reviews as well as links to the giveaway for the soldering iron, uh, micro screwdriver, and digital multimeter tweezer. All right, so let's get into this. Start the surgery up right here uh, right now as usual I am using the uh, zeal sound that I reviewed a while back which is in my opinion still a really good uh, lapel mic and unless I find something better it's probably what I'm gonna keep using that's the devices and let's see what we've got down here a bag with all the goodies and the old stinking instructions that nobody needs. All right, what's in the bag? Okay, we got some uh, some little mops. Got two of those, and just tons of everything else. So we've got a lightning to USB-C connector. So hopefully this will work with a iPhone, which is what I do all the recording with. And we got. A USB-C to USB-C, which would work with Android and the newer iPhones, which I'm never going to be able to afford, to be honest with you. And earphones. So maybe you, maybe you can listen to yourself talk while you're talking. Um, this, I'm assuming, is going to be, of course, just about everything's USB-C uh, charged now, which is really, really good. Uh, so much better than all the, the past uh, charge ports. So that's what that is. And then, uh, I don't know, <laughs> that's not gold plated, I'm quite sure. Uh, they like to do this or show stuff like this to, to make it look better, to make people think they're gold plated, but I'd be willing to bet money that I don't have that that's not uh, gold plated. <laughs> but this would be the connection to be able to connect from uh, one of the devices to a uh, three and a half millimeter uh, barrel jack on a phone if you have one on your phone so let's set this stuff off the side we'll take a quick little glance at the instructions take a look at it and read it same here hopefully my fat fingers ain't in the way so these are very very tiny instructions We've got the, uh, this would be the wireless mic with the microphone. And of course these, they have um, a little plastic plug that plugs into these. We'll check that out in just a second. You got battery, you've got uh, status, you've got link device, what it's in, normal noise reduction, reverb, or, or whatnot. And then a, a USB light that indicates that the USB is uh, active. Now, the instructions said that you really wouldn't be able to use the USB to connect to be able to record, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, it'd be nice if it was able to. Uh, these, you have uh, a, a space to where you can put your earphones on, and that would uh, help let you know that it is uh, still transmitting which uh, is nice, but the Zeal Sound, I like those, they actually have an alarm. 
I uh, charged those and I used them for probably six videos before ever having to, uh, uh, they ever went dead on me. So they've, they worked pretty good. So this, this right here is keyed. It, it'll only go in one way and then you twist it to lock it into place. Uh, what I really, there's not much that I don't like about the Zeal sound, uh, which here, let me pull it off. Pardon your ears, I hope it doesn't. That. Here's the Zeal sound, and you can see this, but this, it's, it's snapped on there pretty decent, but that will pull off pretty pretty easy if you're not careful. So I'm always trying to be careful, make sure it's still there and all that. But this right here has got a pretty solid lock, so I really don't think that that would come out. Uh, and of course, you'd have to remove it to, to charge, the lid won't close, but I mean, you don't have to have the lid closed. There's, there's a good bit of weight there. So hopefully it's got a pretty decent battery in these. And then of course the base unit that would be attached to the phone or camera. Power switch. This is a, uh, a um, looks like an OLED screen on top. Um, and you've got the volume button here, and then this is the selector, which would select between transmitter one, transmitter two, which I don't know if they even marked. I don't think they are. I would assume that most likely transmitter one is the first one to pair, and transmitter two would be the second one to pair. And so you would switch between each of those using this right here. And then, of course, you've got the uh, USB-C on the side which each of these have that so they can be charged individually or you charge the base and then these are charged through the base and of course you got a three and a half inch uh, millimeter sorry uh, barrel jack connector on the side of this as well all right hopefully you can hear what i'm saying if you can it is with the new dx06 all right a few things about this one is when the DX06 first starts, it starts in noise reduction. If you click the mode button, which is right here, and it and it, as soon as you remove it from the base, it powers up and connects. And uh, actually each one is now responding on the OLED display. You, I can see that the, the voice part is actually kind of like a, a mixer type which I'll show that shortly and you can see that but uh, each time you hit the um, button down here it changes the mode from uh, one to the next and so like I said it starts with um, noise reduction you hit mode button it goes to reverb you hit mode button it goes to acoustic you hit mode button and it goes back to noise reduction and of course, uh, the acoustic is basically the sound as it is received into the uh, uh, transmitter. Then noise reduction will, will filter out all of the background noise, wind noise, uh, people talking in the background and such as that. So it'll filter that, that background noise out. Then of course, reverb is like an echo. So uh, let me grab the unit that I'm wearing. Okay. So uh, we're going to take the lapel mic down, please excuse the noise, and what we're going to do here is we're going to hit the mode button, and this light here should go from blue to green to red. Blue is noise reduction, green is acoustic, and red is reverb. So let's see what we got. So of course you can hear my voice now. Now we're in acoustic and there shouldn't be any extra, any noise reduction. You should should be able to hear static or, or some, some kind of a, a sound change. And now we're in acoustic and in the earphones I can hear can hear the reverb so let me go back to the uh, normal uh, noise reduction all right so now I'm going to unplug the headphones 
and I can't hear any feedback, so I'm going to see if there's any difference. So we are now in um, noise reduction, and now it has been changed to um, acoustic, and we are now once again in reverb. Okay, so now I am, oh, excuse me, let's get this out the way. That's, that's a future mailbag. Okay, okay, so let's get these turned on. All right, see the light flashing, it's connected. You can see it's uh, responding to my voice. Now this has BT, which would be when it's uh, uh, connected to the Bluetooth. Um, it has Dodge, which I have no idea what Dodge is. Then right now it's uh, registering NC, which is noise cancellation. So I'm going to hit the mode button once. The light turns green, indicating it's in um, acoustic, and OST is lit up. I hit it again. It is red on the mic, and here REB is lit up for reverb. So that's kind of a cool feature. From either device, you can you can tell what your uh, your mic is set up in. And then I tapped it once on the power. The, uh, the what you would normally power the device on and off on and you can see that it's not responding to my voice at all so I tap it again and now it's back on and it's responding so that is uh, mute and we'll go back to standard uh, so I, I, this this mic is turning out to be a very very nice mic I'm, I like it this is a much larger and bulkier unit which is fine uh, I'm, I'm not, I, I don't mind that one bit, uh, as long as, um, uh, it's, it works better. Uh, cause this is, it, although it is heavier, it's still not a, a large, uh, difference in the weight. What I like about this unit is, of course, it starts in noise cancellation. By default, you just grab these out, plug them in, put that on, and you're recording sound. All you gotta do is plug this into the phone. Um then you can switch between channels if you want um, you can mute with the mute button here on the base device you've got the display that shows what state it is in you have the light which is on this which is uh, color coded to tell you what state the device is in i just grab it hook it up and go everything's good and i've got visual visual feedback on the display here which will also give me battery indicator on both the base and each one of the uh, uh, lapel mics so there's a, a huge amount of features on this uh, this unit right here uh, I like the lid it's it it's very solid when it closes uh, and it's not easy to open so I mean that's that's nice and it and it tilts back and stays open I, all I'm seeing is pluses so it's really down to how well the uh, sound is and uh, how well the battery works, how, how long the battery lasts. So uh, I really like what I'm seeing on this, and I really hope the battery, uh, you know, is equivalent um, because there's a, a lot of good features on this. And I've got another unit that's coming that uh, we're going to look at. I would ask you to like and subscribe. Uh, I definitely appreciate you spending your precious time here with me. I hope you learned something. I hope. This gives you some insight if you are thinking about buying a lapel mic or something. Uh, and I appreciate your time, appreciate you watching, and I hope to see you again. Thanks, and God bless.